when you have the three musketeers of Mollywood, Fahad Fazil, Tilish Potan and Sham Pushkaran jointly backing a film, both the curiosity level as well as the expectation level from that film increases. So does Paltu Janwar live up to that expectation and curiosity? Let's find out. Hi guys, this is Ratish. You're watching Film Companion South. We're going to talk about Paltu Janwar. Directed by debutant Sangeet P. Rajan, starring Basil Joseph, Indrans and Johnny Anthony, Paltu Janwar has an interesting setup. After a failed business venture and the sudden demise of his father, Prasoon, a city-bred animation specialist, is forced to take up the job of a livestock inspector in a rural village called Kudyanmala, a place where every household has some sort of a domestic animal. A place where the domestic animal is not seen just as a source of income, but also as a family member. Now Prasoon, who is an introvert by nature, someone who isn't even comfortable talking to people, let alone animals, has to now adapt and adjust to this new role. His journey, his struggles, the characters that he meets in this village, the bond that he creates with them, all of this leading to his ultimate self-discovery form the rest of the film. Now this fish out of water subgenre lends effortlessly to comedy setting your main character in an entirely different world and putting him into unfamiliar situations puts you, the audience, right at the center. While every character that is inhabiting this new world seems to be comfortable and knows his way around the world, you and the main character are always playing catch up. You feel the discomfort and the uneasiness that the main character faces. But the fact that in reality you are not there in that situation gives you the license to laugh. The Amazon web series Panchayat, which had a similar setup, explores this concept beautifully. However, where Paltu Janwar differs from Panchayat is that unlike Abhishek Tripathi, Prasoon is instantly disliked by the villagers. This is followed by a series of fatal mistakes by him, which turns the dislike into hate and eventual anger. Also, unlike Abhishek Tripathi, Prasoon is a quitter. He is not only reluctant but also careless and disconnected. Not until the very end where he is forced to be in a situation where he cannot get out of does he apply his mind. A character like this could have been easily been dislikable had it not been for the oodles of charm and innocence that Basil Joseph brings to this role. Basil an accomplished director himself with films like Minnal Murli and Kunya Ramayanan sinks his teeth into this well-crafted, well-rounded, beautifully written role. Being a director, he uses his his understanding of the material to help him as an actor. The irritation, frustration and helplessness of doing a job that he doesn't like, that too in a place where nobody likes him, is conveyed effortlessly. The fact that he does that with minimal dialogue or BGM support is something that a skilled actor would be proud of. Check out the two scenes, one in which a deputy scolds him on not having the passion and dedication required for this job. And second, in which sister conveys to him very sweetly, giving Bollywood its own version of Beta Tum Sena Ho Paega. Writers Vinay Thomas and Anish Anjali bring the village of Kudianmala to life. The ambience, the greenery, the characters are oh so relatable. The intentionally forgetful character that Indran's plays, whose skill is to skirt responsibility to someone else, but cling on to power, whose superpower is to lie almost compulsively, is the kind of character I am sure all of us have come across once in our lives. So is the multi-level marketing crazed doctor who is always looking for the next Bakra to be part of his pyramid scheme. Even the Johnny Anthony character who calls his cow Mole and even treats her like one is the kind of character that all of us might have back home in Kerala. When you see all these characters come together in the climax, their survival instincts and desperation getting the best out of them, some of these characters using another person's vulnerability to their own advantage, you understand why the writers spent so much time in the first half detailing out these characters. That situation is written and executed so brilliantly that when eventually Prasoon's character takes charge, 
it seems very organic although reluctantly but our hero manages to save the situation which leads to a heartwarming climax it's when you see such deft touches such beauty such elegance in storytelling that you realize why the likes of Fahad Fazal Dilish Potan and Sham Pushkaran were actually backing the film i heard in some interviews that the movie has used vfx to create certain animals and to create some human animal interactions either that is a lie or this movie has the best vfx ever because frankly i just could not see it the vfx is invisible which is actually the best compliment that it can get talking about vfx while other industries are going big budget producing vfx extravaganza films mollywood actually is going the other way perfecting the art of telling small simple but rooted stories and using technology only to enhance and not dominate the storytelling this is what makes malayalam film industry different more power to you guys all in all paltu janwar is a perfect family film to watch this onam nothing extraordinary just a simple story told in a simple way so guys that was the review if you liked it please press that like button and share this video with your family and friends bye bye